So, is this the One Ring? One Ring to rule them all. Hey, my name is Steve Lund and uh, welcome back to the channel. We're going to take a look at the Aura Ring, the 3.0, the newest version. I've been using the Aura Ring for, you know, the different ones since the first generation for, yeah, five years. So this video, I'm going to make a review about, you know, how does it work and what's my opinions about it. Do it. So if you're not aware, then uh, the Aura Ring, it's this uh, very handy and convenient uh, ring that tracks your sleep and tracks your readiness and tracks your activity, measures your heart rate, your time spent in deep sleep, REM sleep, light sleep and how many times you wake up during the daytime etc. It also tracks your steps, it tracks your HRV and yeah generally is like I think one of the most you know smallest uh, fitness trackers or health trackers that is out there is definitely you know doesn't look like any different from an actual ring. So this is my wedding ring and this is the O ring. So they're actually quite similar, um, but it's a bit, yeah, a bit bigger. Of course, the first generation ring was a lot bigger than uh, this one. But uh, yeah, regardless, these are comparisons of the second generation rings. So these two are the second generation. This one is the third one. So there is no like look difference, no visual difference between the second and the third generation. The only difference between them is that the third generation ring has more sensors. It measures more things and uh, yeah, it's said to be more accurate and gives you more data in terms of yeah, how it functions. So right now I'm in the Aura Ring app and uh, basically you have uploaded my data here. I'm checking my tonight's scores. So my readiness is 78, good, so sleep 74, uh, could be a bit, a bit better. Uh, so I've slept six hours and 42 minutes. My resting heart rate is 40 beats per minute, which is very good. HRV, heart rate variability 92, uh, or this average of HRV is 92 for this week. And uh, yeah, gives you like a overview of your current stats. Let's take a look at the readiness. So resting heart rate 40, HRV at night 103, respiratory rate 12.8 per minute, body temperature minus 0.2 Celsius. Body temperature optimal, sleep, pay attention, sleep balance, pay attention. I didn't sleep that long today because um, yeah, I had like a long day yesterday. But uh, regardless, you can see different kinds of you know, measurements that you've uh, accumulated over the course of the night. So let's take a look at sleep. Total sleep time, 6 hours, 42 minutes, time in bed, 8 hours. Uh, so, you know, obviously this is because I'm um, uh, sleeping next to my wife and uh, in the morning we don't like wake up immediately. Efficiency, 83%, so very still very efficient sleep uh, compared to the total time. Restfulness, good. REM sleep, 1 hour, 3 minutes. Deep sleep, 2 hours, 50, 52 minutes. So a lot, 43% of it has been... Uh, uh, deep sleep that I got latency three minutes, so it took me three minutes to fall asleep. Average blood oxygen 98%, uh, which is a new feature of the Gen 3, so measures your SPO2, uh, which is yeah very beneficial actually. Uh, noticing if you get uh, any infection or illness, if you get some sickness, then your uh, SPO2 will also drop, and you have a higher respiration and a higher heart rate and lower HRV. But yeah, I'm not sick at the moment, and everything is optimal. My respiration and breathing rate is optimal. HRV is high, super high, and uh, heart rate is also high. Today I haven't like moved that much yet. It's only 12 a uh, 12 p.m. here, so I'll, yeah, only 4,000 steps today, and activity, daily movement, etc. Yesterday I had more activity, so uh, I actually stepped 15,000 steps yesterday, which is a uh, very good. You can also see trends in the. Uh, app so it looks at uh, specific trends of uh, different uh, metrics so if you go back in time you can see like uh, all these yeah charts looking at your average uh, measurements of uh, the specific um, you know biometric and yeah as you can see my hrv has always been pretty high rem sleep i actually get quite a little rem sleep for some reason and uh, the reason i think that is uh, some of my deep sleep probably is categorized as rem sleep and uh, that's because of, yeah, maybe it's not, you know, 100% accurate still. There's maybe some shortcomings that may come, but uh, it's also because I wake up super early. Like, I wake up usually yeah, like around 6 or even before that, and uh, 5, 5 or 6 a.m. And that's the reason, or that's part of the time where you get a lot of the REM sleep earlier in the morning. So I wake up in early, and that's why I may not get that much uh, REM sleep. Disappointed! So overall, what do I think about the Aura Ring? You know, like I said, uh, I've been using it for five years, the different uh, generations, and uh, I've always loved it. I think, uh, you know, 
because it's a ring, it's not some sort of a band around your wrist or some other like a uh, bulky device. It's very convenient. It's very easy to use. It's stylish. I mean, it's a cool ring, uh, and uh, it's small. So that's what I like. It's also accurate. I do think that uh, the results that I get uh, reflect my own subjective feeling of you know how do I feel actually as well. But uh, yeah, of course, uh, there are maybe a few, let's say maybe five or 10% is inaccurate. So most of it is, I think, yeah, still very accurate. But there is, of course, uh, with technologies, maybe like a five or 10% uh, mismatch that uh, may occur. Now, with a third generation ring, there has been a lot of uh, controversy. People have been super mad at Aura for, you know, first of all, they released a new ring. Uh, which, you know, still costs uh, some money. And the price of the Aura Ring is, you know, it's not cheap. Uh, it's uh, 367 euros. Looking at this website, uh, you may get it a bit cheaper even in some places. Uh, or, But yeah, generally, it's not like a cheap toy. It's still like a gadget. And if you have to buy another one of these every, let's say, two or three years, then it will add up. Uh, for me, you know, for me, yeah, like, um, I think it's worth it. Like, they've never given me, like, a free ring. And I'll, you know, disclaim that. I've always bought my own ring. Um, and, uh, yeah, still, I think, for me, it's kind of worth it. Because I like to track my sleep. Uh, I've done it more so in the past, of course. Uh, when I've started, then I paid more attention to these a lot. And nowadays, I still track it. I still wear it. Uh, but I'm not like checking it every day, like this, uh, of wanting to see my scores because, you know, I still follow the same routines and I know what I'm going to get pretty much on a daily basis unless I change something. But I, I do check it maybe like uh, once every three or four days for sure to get some uh, data. What are some other specs of the ring? It's uh, water resistant up to 100 meters. It's uh, lighter than a conventional ring. It's four to six grams only, so it's pretty lightweight. You don't feel it on your ring, on your finger. Made of titanium, very durable and wearable. Yeah, like I've used this, you know, for gym workouts. I've uh, gripped kettlebells and barbells with it. They don't break uh, that easily. So I've, or I've never broken a ring and they still work. And uh, they also have a charger, USB-C cable, very convenient. And um, yeah, you may still develop some scratches, so it's not like pure gold or it's not pure metal. Uh, so the color can scratch off. So this generation uh, two ring, I don't know if you can see it, it has a little bit of uh, scratches on it because of being used a lot um, compared to the new one. This one, you know, I have used it for a year. And this one doesn't have any scratches because it's uh, still new. So it will, you know, over time get some scratches. Or maybe it's the, just the gold one because I have the black one. I haven't used it that much, but this one doesn't have any scratches or it doesn't has, hasn't lost the color. Another controversy that the Aura Ring uh, goes through right now is the new membership feature. So basically, starting November 1st, the uh, people who get the ring will first get one month for free. But after that, they need to start paying uh, six months Oh, sorry, six dollars per month to basically get access to the full features of the platform and of the ring. If you don't get a membership, then you will just see like the scores of your of your uh, top three uh, things, like your uh, sleep, restfulness, and uh, activity scores. You don't see the details of you know the actual deep sleep and actual HRV and uh, how many times you woke up. But those things you don't see the details, but you just get a score of you know how well you slept or how uh, restful you are. Sucks. In that sense, uh, many people don't like it. Many people have just quit it. Uh, and of course, yeah, it will add up um, a lot more money to the total cost. So if you use the ring for like a year, six months per uh, six dollars uh, per month, you're gonna pay like seventy-two dollars per year additionally uh, to get access to the full features. And this is, you know, not the Aura Ring is not the only one doing this. Whoop has a membership, which is like another competing uh, sleep tracker. And many other of these devices are shifting to a membership, uh, like a model. I am, you know, to be honest, I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like having like an additional membership cost. Um, I don't mind paying it if I would have to like get access to the data. I think it's still valuable. Uh, but let's say, yeah, it's definitely turns off the uh, desire to get the ring. For, and many people will probably, yeah, not choose to get the ring just because of that. One ring to find them. Overall, do I think that the o ring is worth it? I mean, the device, the gadget itself is, uh, I still, it's still very good. I like it. I'm gonna continue using it. 
the price, you know, getting it only for three sixty-seven dollars or euros for the one thing, for that I think it would be worth it uh, for the single payment. The membership uh, for that, I guess, depends on your situation and it depends on your need to track your sleep. If uh, you are struggling with sleep, you don't know what's the issue, then measuring your sleep will give you like still very beneficial, insightful data about what's going on. And for sure, you can use that data to make positive changes and see what needs to be fixed. So in that sense, in the short term, for even like, you know, six months or five months of using that, I think you will learn a lot about your sleep and uh, see some improvements just because of uh, tracking. And other cases, if you're you know struggling with financially or you're already sleeping perfectly or you don't have any complaints, then uh, for you probably it's not worth it to get the ring and start paying the additional membership. Uh, so yeah, in that scenario, maybe not worth it. I personally, yeah, like I said, I am using it. I'm, I'm not really planning to stop. Uh, and maybe next year or somewhere, I may cancel my membership. I don't know yet, I don't think that long ahead of what kind of gadgets I'm going to use. But uh, yeah, we'll see. I personally still you know, will continue to use it. All right, that's it of this video. Check out the description for the Aura Ring if you are interested in getting that or learn more about it. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.